Uh, implantable human chips. Supporters hail the technology as a medical marvel, but critics warn that the potential risks are real. Well, they talked about, for example, electrical hazards. This thing is by no means inert. The, w the way it works is it actually picks up and amplifies ambient electromagnetic energy from the reader devices. And if you have one of these things in your arm and you get within range of a, a powerful electromagnetic field, it can actually burn you. Oh, and by the way, it can kill you if you get out of line. <laughs> a closer look at the who and the why behind this idea. This next story may sound like something out of, uh, well, a Hollywood thriller. A Saudi inventor has created a killer microchip. It's designed to track terrorists and criminals and, well, you can think of somebody. Not only does it include a GPS device, it also has a lethal dose of cyanide, which can be activated at any time. You get my point? The inventor's bid for a patent has been rejected in Germany. Joining us now this morning to talk about it, Jake Ward, deputy editor of Popular Science. Okay, this is pretty macabre, pretty uh, sinister and nefarious. How exactly would this work? Well, there's a, a category of technology uh, that involves GPS tracking systems being shrunk down to the size where you could actually implant it surgically. And we've seen a number of applications for this. Um, this is without question the most sinister version of it that I've certainly heard of. Um, you know, and, and the notion of tracking criminals is not new, but the notion of killing them remotely, I think, is, is a whole new thing. Yeah, and Germany says, look, we're, we're not going to approve this That's because right. for that very purpose. And apparently, in some of the paperwork and applying for the patent, you know, you could track fugitives from justice, terrorists, illegal immigrants, criminals, political opponents, defectors, and Saudi Arabians who don't re return home from pilgrimage. It's a, it's a little bit wild. I agree. I mean, the, the thing about, uh, uh, you know, this kind of patent is it, Germany has very tight laws about making sure that you, you're not registering something that really is just a, 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 a bad idea, a scary idea. And in this case, this guy obviously has some very strong feelings about what it would be used for, but it just seems a little outlandish. Yeah, well, terrorist groups might be interested. I'm sure they'd be happy to grant their own form of a patent sure. for that. Sure. Um, the bigger world, though, of GPS, talk to us about how it's being used to, for example, uh, track sex offenders. Sure. Uh, the Washington state legislature right now is considering a, a, the possibility of registering perhaps 100 sex offenders um, with a GPS chip that's implanted in their shoulder um, because they found that a few of them um, have uh, been wearing them on their uh, wrists and then have cut them off, mm -hmm. which just defeats the purpose. And so, uh, but the, the the larger world of this technology is actually pretty happy stuff. I mean, um, there is new technology for tracking Alzheimer's patients. You know, who, right, who may wander away. Right. Right. Sure. Um, tracking uh, uh, the the vital signs of professional athletes from the sideline. Um, you know, there's been a couple really? of cases in which you know football players have, have uh, collapsed of heat exhaustion. And seeing the early warning signs of that, um, this technology that, that sort of allows you to do that remotely, um, you know, even something as benign as keeping track of your dawn, you know, a radio frequency tag yeah. implanted in your pet, the, the vet, you know, finds a stray, scans it, and finds its rightful owner in an instant. Yeah. Do you see an explosion of the use of GPS devices? And, and obviously a lot of people are concerned about an intrusion of privacy. Absolutely, sure. I mean, I think that, that there is a trade-off there, and obviously this, this uh, you know, the, the inventor who filed for this patent has gone across the line in terms of privacy. Yeah. Um, but uh, the you know the use of GPS in the future will allow you to you know you'll never lose your wallet again. You'll never lose your keys again. Yeah. It's that kind of stuff where you're gonna you know you'll be able to beep any object you own you know and and, and find it in the house. And so um, you know there's the there's the vicious expression and then there's the really really helpful expression that I think we'll see in the future. You know I lose socks in the dryer. I don't know how that happens. Maybe that would help me uh, in that regard. <laughs> Jake Ward, Deputy Editor of Popular Science. Uh, interesting stuff. Thanks very much. I've got my little buddies microchipped. Do you really? Yeah. yeah. I do, just in case they get away. And then you, you bring them and then you take them to like the checkout counter at the grocery store and you scan them and then they say, hey, I belong to Megan Kelly. That is very cool, yeah. The microchip has been approved by the FDA as a Class II medical device in order to identify high-risk patients in an emergency situation. It's elective. It's voluntary. 
and it is certainly critical to the evolution of information technology in healthcare. It, you, it, oh, go ahead. You have one in your arm right now. That's correct. Where, where is it? It's in the upper right arm. It's a simple injection process, just like getting a shot of penicillin. Is it painful? Not at all. They numb the area slightly. You don't feel it. They put a Band-Aid on it. Within two days, you don't even know it's there. And can we, I don't know, um, did you get a good shot of this, Peter, this uh, the chip? I don't know how tight you can get on it, but these are, these are small, and you've got a scanner with you That's right correct. now. That's right? correct. This is the passive scanner. The critics would say, and I listen to it, and I, I'm trying to figure it out, but they use the they word a lot. Is there a vast RFID conspiracy out there that is plot? They would say this is a slippery slope. This is the first thing. This is where you lull us into a false sense of security. We all get these things. And then the next thing, you know, I don't know. They're it's making like the, soil and green. Like the, yeah, the, the, the trilateral commission or the whole world gets taken over like in Terminator yeah. 3 or something. Is anything, I mean, do we need to worry? There, there's no conspiracy, Joe. You sure? I'm, I'm sure. At, I'm looking at you. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at your eyebrow. It, it twitches yeah. when you say that a little bit. And I'm looking back at you. Come off. Yeah, <laughs> let, let, let me say this. Let me say this. As far as the RFID industry is concerned, 